It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And welcome to another Sunday, beautiful Sunday here in Kentucky. It's yes. actually warm out, sunny out, weather's good. Um, so Sarah, what are we doing on today's show? It's kind of like another sample Sunday for um, us. We're, yeah, we're going to do a sample Sunday. Right now I'm drinking a uh, Tide Spot that we have the video recipe for, but I'm still kind of in derby mood, so mm -hmm. I was like, mmm, minty. Um, so I'm just kind of sipping on that real quick, but we're going to do... Um, the uh, Whistle Pig Boss Hog Black Prince, which is crazy. Um, yeah. It was generously donated by Evan and Cassie. Thank you all. They sent several other samples, which we'll do on future live episodes when we do Sample Sunday. Um, yeah, we're also going to do some Elijah Craig, 18-year-old, <coughs> and uh, Blanton Straight from the Barrel that were sent from our friend Monty in Texas. Mm -hmm. He probably sent those last summer. <laughs> so we're recycling through our samples. We're we waiting... To go live. Sure, to sure. To have a live show. I mean, we had to build platform. up our, uh, <laughs> our our stores or whatever they right. call it. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, last, we're going to do this Joseph A. Magnus sample that we got. Uh, let's see. I mean, just like a super kind, generous donation. This, however, also came like last spring to us. So we've had this one for a while. Yeah. And that was before we were doing our current inventory for samples. <laughs> It's before we did good bookkeeping. Yeah, we, we do really good. Like, when something comes in, we, we have a log for it now. But at the time, we weren't used to getting samples, so when these came in, we were just like, cool. I, for the life of me, cannot find the message or email where this person gave us their info. So I'm really sorry. So if Whoever, you're watching. If you're watching, please tell us. It's, we want to give you awful. a shout-out. We want to yeah. give you a shout-out. <clears throat> so, um, but we're yeah. We're the worst. I know, we suck. <laughs> Life is messy, um, as my shirt says. It is messy, uh -huh. yes. Um, so, yeah, but thanks yeah. for everybody for joining uh, from all over. We appreciate yeah. it. Um, if you haven't checked it out yet, well, first go check out the recipe for the Tide Spot if you also want one of these, because I'm going to finish this up real quick. Yes. And well, I was just going to say, um, if you're watching the replay of this and you want to jump ahead to any of these reviews, just look down in the description. I'm going to do some timestamps so you can jump ahead, because, you know, these we usually hang out for about an hour. And if you don't want to, you know sit through it, then uh, use those timestamps. Um, yeah, tight spot. Let's, because when we put out the episode, we didn't have the... the ah, it, yes. It has been since improved, so mm -hmm. why don't you tell them about that real quick. So, the original recipe is a video that you can find in our Drink More Bourbon Cocktails library playlist. Mm, um, so much better than this one This was yes, better yesterday. Uh, better than yesterday. Yesterday, I made it with um, Early Times Bottled and Bond. It was fine, but there's just something missing. It wasn't the right And bourbon. you know what? It was the old Granddad 114. I think it's just the flavor profile and the proof really just kicks that cocktail up. Plus, we found, uh, since we put the video out for the recipe, that we actually really like the recipe better with about 15 drops of tiki bitters. Um, <clears throat> so that's the thing that you can buy, Bitterman's Tiki Bitters, which is cool. Um, also, if you haven't checked it out, please go watch uh, the New Orleans uh, Bourbon Festival recap video that Chad just finished. He did an awesome job on it. Like, thank good you. job. Everyone give Chad a pat on the back. Uh, it's probably my personal favorite video that we've ever done. It's getting um, good feedback, yeah. Yeah, so I, I thought it was really fun. Um, it's d a different style than we normally do, and it was really cool, I thought. Yeah, we're vloggers now. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so I can put this aside so we can get started. Sure, let's do it. Let's dive in. Um, well, you know, of course. Or I can chug it. <laughs> yesterday was the Derby, Kentucky Derby. Big deal here in Kentucky. Probably a big deal in some other states like Florida, California, where there's a lot of horse racing in New York. Um, elsewhere, I'm not really sure. It's, you know, supposed to be the most exciting two minutes in sport. Um... If you ask your mom or your family, they would probably agree because they were yelling at the TV. Oh, my family. Yes, they were. If you're watching. <laughs> yeah. We love you. You're yes. loud. Yes. Um, um, so yeah. th that happened, and that's why we were doing the tight spot. Because mm -hmm. no one really likes a mint julep, let's be honest. Oh. It's kind of like we were saying it's a bourbon slushy because it's so much crust ice. Crushed uh, ice. Crushed ice, like packed ice. Yeah. And then, you know... I mean, and mint. someone likes mint juleps because that's why they keep making them. I guess. But personally, not our. It's not our jam. Well, it started um, as a breakfast drink. Did it? Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That's why it's you know minty. Interesting. Yeah. But yeah, just not our thing. So what we went with spot. mint and something else. Is yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right, let's get in to our samples 
for Sample Sunday. Let's do it. Now, <laughs> when we were opening up the box... Like, and, I had no idea what was coming. And we saw this as one of them. I just couldn't believe it. 2017 Whistle Pig. Boss Hog, the Black Prince. This is barrel number 28. It's a 14-year-old. Um, and let's see. <laughs> yes. Uh, previously, um, you know, they've used Canadian uh, juice. Mm-hmm. This is sourced, but uh, it's Indiana now, so it's American. It's MGP. This is a rye. It's a 95% rye. It's 5% malted barley. 14 years, as I said, 60.1, so that's 120.2 proof. Mm-hmm. Oh, good job with the math. Hey, right? <laughs> Sometimes I get it right. Uh, and this was best whiskey in the San Francisco World Spirits competition. That's true. Best whiskey. And it's like overall crazy. It's like, what, over $500? It's $500. On the shelf. On the shelf um, when I was... That we've seen for. You know, looking up that article today, I saw mm-hmm. a website selling one for 900 Oh my god. Um, and actually, I wanted, I wanted to do this real quick. And I am bad at math, so I'm going to pull out the calculator. All right. <clears throat> Let's say a bar. Got it for five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. They might get it for a little less. Well, so they're let's gonna just, get it. For, let's just yeah. say five hundred. Okay, let's just say. Um, divide that by twenty-five one-ounce pours. So twenty dollars an ounce. But they're gonna charge way more than that. Typically, it's three times. But for something like this, I would five, say want to say four. Four or five times. Yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna be five times. Okay. So I mean, think about a hundred dollars. Yeah. A hundred dollars for an ounce. At a bar. At a bar. Probably. Let's just say. Um, we haven't really sought it out to see what it's no, going what it costs for at, bar. at, at bars, but so, and this is two ounces. This uh, is a different shaped it, bottle. It's probably two ounces. Yeah. yeah. So two hundred dollars right here, guys. Thank you. Yeah, seriously. Thank you. It's a really nice. <sighs> we don't expect this. This was a surprise. didn't really think we were gonna. Be trying we don't expect anyone to send us samples. This. You just do it because you guys are awesome. Yes. And it's so nice and thoughtful. Oh boy, oh I'm just, boy. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I ha- honestly haven't heard anything about it because I don't really know a lot of people who've tried it. So I'm kind of glad about that, though, that I don't have any like preconceived whatever. In general, Whistle Pig has always just been... Eh, for me. I mean, you know, just, just solid. Just solid, but... Eh. Yeah. So I'm excited to try this one. I want to know what it's all, all the fuss is about. Yes, ouch on the price. Mm-hmm. Ouch on the price, indeed. I feel like I really gotta rinse that cocktail out of my mouth. Do you have a... Uh... What you looking for? Okay. Just checking. All right. <sighs> Whistle pig. Am I excited for it because it's $500? No, I'm not excited about it because of the price. I'm excited about it because I don't know how we would have had an opportunity to try it without the sample. Yeah. So that's why I'm excited because this is something I don't think we're going to, going to get another opportunity to try this. So anytime you can try something for the first time, I like trying yeah. this for the first time. Yeah. Anytime you get to try something that, you know, won uh, a best of blind, it's like, well, I want to try that. I want to know what I want to see yeah. what the fuss is. Yeah, exactly. And I think if I remember right, might be telling tales out of school here, but he wants you to say whistle pig like cool whip. Whistle pig. <laughs> I like my whistle pig with some cool whip. Why are you saying it like that? What cool whip? Yeah. A sandwich isn't a cool sandwich whip. with a tangy zip of cool whip. You're eating hair. <laughs> Family guy. Yeah. Um, I got it. So I'm saying. What was I saying? <clears throat> About the how it's cool to try this because it won. Oh yeah. The blind tasting. Oh no. Um. If I remember right, I think I read that they didn't put this out like for the public to buy until right after the uh, Spirits Festival. They're like, we think it could win, and then it won. They're like, okay, now we put it out. It's $500, by the way. <laughs> it's his most expensive boss hog you know, put out so far. But a, uh, yeah, 14-year rye whiskey. It's got kind of a chocolatey <clears throat> nose. Ooh, it's very... Mmm, buttery, cl- like, spicy clove <laughs> pepper on a ocean voyage. But, like, balanced. You're so doing weird. That? <laughs> no, I don't do it like that. Double I'll up. just go... Someone said I suspect it's overrated, and that's kind of how I feel about things that get that expensive in general. Like, mm. 
I mean, is it that is it five hundred dollars worth of good? I don't know. But I always like to compare this to wine. So people will buy bottles of wine for a thousand dollars, and it's like four or five glasses, you know, and they're all about it. Everybody's obsessed with it, and I'm like, okay, but then five hundred is too much for bourbon, which you can get twenty five drinks out of. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, I thought I just don't think bourbon's there yet, <coughs> and as far as like the excuse me prestige and <coughs> fanciness of wine, it's not fancy. I don't know. I digress. But anyways, it's just always been interesting to me. Like, it's acceptable for one, you know, type of alcohol, but not for another. I, I would never be one of those people that buys a $1,000 bottle of wine, though. Like, my range is, I like a $15 mm. bottle of wine. If I want to splurge, maybe 18 20 you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, oh, wine, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a cheap yeah. date. I think your most expensive wine is a $50 bottle. Yes, the most expensive one I like is $50. Yeah. And that's like a special occasion, you know? Because yeah. again, it's four or five glasses. It's not like a bottle of bourbon. When you spend $50 on it, you can sip on it for a long time. Exactly. And once it's open, it's going bad within a short period of time. Yeah, you gotta finish it. So I'm getting like a peppery caramel uh, spice. Like a clovish, uh, a little bit of a fruit, like maybe a plum or something kind of ripe. Hmm. Um... But also like a lot of caramel, which is odd. Yeah. I mean the barrel. But uh, talk about the the barrel if you want to pull up that yes. uh, info. Okay, one moment, please. Infographic. Um, so this is stored in a different type of uh, okay. barrel. Let's see. It spent some time resting in Armagnac casks, Armagnac. which is a brandy made from aromatic white grapes. I did not know that. There you go. Um, before it was bottled at cask strength. Hmm. Uh, so. Like cognac or scotch, and I'm reading here. This isn't my knowledge, just so you know. Um, <laughs> Armagnac producers use their barrels over and over again for decades, which means that it's not producing, what, a fire hose of used cask? It's harder to get one of these barrels because they keep using and using ah, and using see, and I using see. them over and over and over <laughs> and over until They're, they, continuously they basically recycled. break down. Yes. So to get one that's it's still tough. still got some juice in it in the wood is, is kind of tough. Which is unique because, like, with regular bourbon you can only use it once and then it's right. got to be passed off to its next purpose or whatever to a whiskey or to a so it would be harder because people wouldn't want to let them go because you're using yeah. them over and over again yeah. mm -hmm. um interesting let's drink it daggone it i mean let's drink it and we'll get i'll catch up on these comments in just a second um sorry i'm dabbing i was dabbing sorry <coughs> getting over a cold a little bit of cold yeah still got some the old uh Chest, right. I'm getting like a peppered chocolate kind of a thing. We're getting very different things on this one, but that's okay. I just want to taste it. Can I taste it? Yeah, yeah. No, let's let's just. They're they want us to taste it. <laughs> oh. Pepper. Oh. Um. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Ooh, a spicy meatball. Spice. $500? First impression? No. 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 It's... Good? Interesting? Yes. $500? No. But very good. Now, you know, historically, we we haven't been too crazy about 95% rise. Mm. I will say this, this is, is true. probably the best tasting 95% rye I've ever I had. would agree with you. Yeah. That other whistle pig that we had, whistle pig... Um, the old world or the the fifteen year in in um. Oh, Kanye Evan, Cass they're here. Evan and Cassie. Oh, thank hey guys. You. Well, thank you. This, Cheers to you. This is to you guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, that is super interesting. <clears throat> he said, "Oh, he's nervous." <laughs> no, it's really good. No, it's um, good. Yeah. It's just really different, and I'm just like a personal believer that nothing is worth. It's a tad dry. <laughs> um, like I said, I wouldn't pay secondary for Pappy. I don't. I think that's also no, yeah. overrated. But overrated doesn't mean bad. Overrated just means overrated. Mm -hmm. You know. That's so interesting. I tell you, what I like the best about it. This is my favorite whistle pig I've ever had. Yeah, it's that initial palate when it is still rushing over your tongue. Man, it has these really unique flavors. It's like an ex it's a very exciting experience. It's yeah. like a discovery kind yeah. of thing. It's so many flavors I'm not used to all happening at once that it's almost like a your tongue is just confused because it's like what just happened. <laughs> yeah, it is definitely 
Oh, it's spice though on the end, and it's got like a really warm. <clears throat> yeah, it's definitely going down the chest here. It's getting you in the chest feels for sure. Perry wants a bourbon and rye tasting guide written by us. <laughs> okay. I could write a book. Step one, lift glass. <laughs> Step next, two. And for my next act, I'll write a book. <laughs> um, Watch me pull a book out of my head. We've um, uncorked the E.H. Taylor straight rye, right? <clears throat> yeah. We, yeah, we did it for the rye flight. Didn't we? Yeah, we... I don't think we released an uncorking of it. Not yet. No, not an uncorking, but we, we but did. But one has been filmed. That's right. Yeah. Mm. Um, sorry, I'm going to get through these comments real quick while you take a drink of water. <clears throat> sorry about the, the blank wall behind us. We're, uh... We're doing some spring cleaning spring slash cleaning. reorganizing of the house. Decorating, so it's. Just, I'm doing the decorating. <laughs> it's just a blank wall right now, but hopefully by next time it won't be. Question mark. Man, this is this one is a thinker. I definitely like it. Like I said, it's the best 95% rye, 5% barley that I've ever had. I'm very back and forth, hot and cold on finished whiskeys. Mm -hmm. um, I've never had this. What'd you call it? Ar 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 Armagnac? Armagnac. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. Sounds like I am the more sophisticated one of this duo. You didn't. You kidding. don't know what a chiffero is. I don't know what Where's a chiffero van? is. Where's the van? It's some sort of piece of furniture or something. Yes. Uh, no one calls it that, though. No. Um, how much do you think... Oh, Perry, someone asked... Okay, sorry. Multiple things going on at once. Uh, someone asked what $30 range bottle you should take to a party. That no one, that's not the norm. Perry answered with Henry McKenna tenure. That's exactly what I was going to answer with. Uh, but yeah. don't buy too much of it because apparently it's going to be harder to find. <laughs> um, yeah. And then how much should a bottle like this cost? I could understand if this was in the one to two hundred dollar range. I would say one ninety nine max. Yeah, I would say more than two fifty because, like, think about it. The Jefferson's uh, sixteen year presidential that is two hundred. Two hundred, but some stores were selling it for more like two thirty. Right. So I could understand it even being between two and two fifty. I think that would be high, but I could understand it. Yeah. And with the limited aspect of it, yeah, who I'm knows? Thinking, do you think it's like a combo of the win at the San Francisco Festival and the Armagnac barrel that's yeah. making this that high? Like I, I don't do. know what an Armagnac barrel. Costs. I do, and I was getting ready to. Say, that's exactly what I was getting ready to say. We have no idea what it costs to get an arm. Armagnac. One of those barrels. Armagnac. <laughs> Armagnac barrels. Uh, I mean, that could have just really blown their budget right there. So, whereas I'm sure there is a great markup on this, you know. Oh, it's so smells um, good. Yeah. It, you know, it, it could cost an, you know, an arm and a leg to get those barrels. An arm and yak and a leg. An arm and, oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Nicely done. I'll Thank drink, you. I'll drink to that. I'm taking a page out of your book. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, so, for those of you who are just now joining us, this is the 2017 Whistlepig Boss Hog, the Black Prince, barrel number 28, 14 year, 120.2 proof. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because somebody else I'll say I'll say this. I'm going to actually up my price. Oh, really? Because the um, the uh, Booker's Rye was $300. And it also won Best Whiskey. Um, I could see this also being $300. i will say that. I could. Yeah. 500 is just crazy. 500 is is a, is a little bit of a leap. I mean... I don't know. What does 15-year Pappy go for on the secondary? But again, we're talking secondary price here. Mm -hmm. We're talking that they've jacked it up. What's that, There's not to even 1400 Even 23-year-old Pappy is not $500 retail. No, it's $250. Not retail, how it should be. It should be $250. Mm -hmm. So when you're telling me... But it's not finished in another barrel. No, it's not. I just have a problem with that. I need to know how much an Armagnac barrel costs. Let me just get on eBay real Let quick. Let me just pull up my spreadsheet of how bourbon should be priced. <laughs> Um, no, but I dig it, and I recommend it. If you can get a good oh, price no. on oh, a pour, place. I would recommend it. And if you are really into finished whiskeys and high rye whiskeys, then I think this is definitely more for you. So maybe even pick up a bottle if you can find one. Um, more around the suggested retail price, not what people might be trying to sell it for now because of its clout. It's just and it was only uh, it's limited to six hundred bottles, by the way. Six thousand. Six thousand. That's what I wrote. <laughs> 6,000 bottles. <clears throat> so, not a whole lot of bottles out there. We are just so grateful to be sharing in one of those. Thank you all again. Um, but yeah, you know, it's it's definitely worth picking up if you are a high rye finished whiskey 
lover. I would say. I agree. I think this is a special treat. Mm-hmm. It's not. Ooh, and it does grow on you. It does. It's growing Even on me more. a lot. Yeah. Um, the nose, I think my, I mean, not my favorite part. It's definitely really adding to the experience. Like some people are like, quit nose and it just tasted. Who cares what it smells like? <laughs> I think it's one of those things that just adds to the overall experience. I've said that before. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, you know, yes, I'm thrilled that we got to try it. Thank you so much to Evan and Cassie for sending all those samples. We will incorporate more in future sample Sundays. Yeah. Um, this was awesome to mm. try. If you can try it somewhere and you don't have to pay an arm and a leg for it, then I would definitely recommend it. If you have the means to buy a bottle and it's five hundred dollars is like just you know nothing to you, then sure, go ahead and do it. It's a it's a good whiskey. Yeah. But there are a lot of bottles for under a hundred dollars that I would recommend that are also delightful. Mm. So mm -hmm. that's how I mm -hmm. feel. Mm -hmm. For, for sure. sure. Um, anybody know anything about Clyde Mays? We actually did an episode on the Clyde Mays. Is the 92 proof? Yes. Yes. The, the proof. white label with all the, like, I love their label. It's really cool. It's sort of like a scrapbook. Mm -hmm. And there's, like, so many different texts on there. It's really cool. It seems like a graphic designer's nightmare, but it's really neat. <laughs> or dream. Or dream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Clyde Mays um, was a uh, bootlegger. That's where they got the name from. Let's see. So next, we're going to try some Elijah Craig 18 year, which was bottled uh, in 2016. 90 proof. And this, this is from Monty in Texas. We've had, we've had his samples for a little bit. Everyone's being so nice today. Through. Everyone's in a good mood. Good. Well, they're being, weather's great. They're saying just nice things about our channel. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you so that much. really makes us feel good. Yes. Um, Chad and Sarah, what is your honest opinion on scotch? Did the scotch test dummies try to convert you guys yet? <clears throat> yes, they've tried. They did send us some stuff. I don't know if they're trying to nice. convert us. They're, they're trying to find a scotch that we like. Uh, our friend... Um, why am I blanking? James? Yes. I was like, starts with a J. <laughs> <laughs> why am I blanking? He also sent us some a lot of scotches in. Every now and then we'll try some. And so did his friend... Uh, Dylan. 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 Wow. Dylan. We can never remember. Well, you forgot James. I blanked. I knew it was <gasps> there. It was just like searching through the files in yeah. your brain. Accessing, accessing. Yeah. Ram exceeded. I got the little color wheel spinning yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but yeah, we're still just not, Scotch just isn't our thing. But we're still going to try all those samples. Sure. Yeah, of course. Because who knows? There might be something. Um... Yeah. What else do we have here? Uh, <clears throat> still working on your... Mm -hmm. Did you just try to rush me through that sample? No. Just asking. Just asking. All right. Yes. So, who likes Evan Williams? We do. Me. We do. Um, from their, you know, 20... What is it? $25, $26 right off the shelf, small batch, all the way up to... We've had their 23, and then 23 is good. Um, I think this actually might be the first time that we've tried the 18, which is very special. Yes. 12-year, you know, Big Red 12, good. The um, Barrel Proof, which is now the only 12-year mm -hmm. that you can get, besides maybe a pick, is very good. We've been on a big kick of that. The C917. C917. Mm -hmm. So good. Someone said they bought one uh, uh, yeah, off of our that. recommendation, and I'm really happy that you like it. Yeah, glad you like um, it. i got to say, this is still hanging around. Oh, yeah. The palette. Mm -hmm. Like, it left an impression. Mm hmm Yeah. You might <laughs> maybe need to get some crackers going. Mm -hmm. It's cracker time. Do you want some crackers? You know, I could go for a cracker. Right. I. It's so spicy. BRB. And peppery. It really does... Leave an impression on the tongue. <laughs> a tongue impression? A tongue impression. It was impressive. You said Evan Williams, but someone... Did I say Evan Williams? You did say Evan Williams. Sorry. I, meant to say I Elijah... also love Evan Williams. Sorry. I meant to say Elijah Craig. Same distillery. It starts with an E. Same thing. Same distillery. <laughs> yeah, it is same distillery. Evan Williams. 
Oh, Jason, I'm glad you liked Evan Williams 1783. That's like another thing. Uh, whoever asked earlier about what, yes, just put this right in front of me. Um, <laughs> what a uh, bottle under $30. It's not around 30, it's under, but would you take to a party? And if I'm going to a party and I don't care if I'm leaving, I mean, you should, generally if I take something to a big party, it's like I got to be willing to leave it at the end of the night. And I think Evan Williams 1783 is like a great, you know, that's a great bottle to mm -hmm, take. Mm -hmm. So is Elijah Craig. Elijah Craig is a really good bottle to yeah. take too. The small batch. Craig. Oyster crackers. Yeah, this will help reset our palate here. Yes, it already helped. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. All right, me too. Mm. Apparently, though, my mouth isn't. I just spilled water all over myself. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, welcome, Homer Simpson. Don't move the cracker box, Pam says. Okay. <laughs> It's not aesthetically pleasing. When your mom tells you to do it, you just do it. Gotta move that cracker box. Move that cracker box. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody wants it's nutty t-shirts. I don't know about that. I mean, we'll, we'll think about how we can incorporate something with that on it. It's nutty. Do we dig derby pie? Oh, yeah. yeah. I love derby pie. I had two slices yesterday. Um, I also had two <clears throat> slices yesterday. Ooh. But I went to the gym yesterday morning, so it's fine. I can have it, right? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right? Um, you tell me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, do we know what bourbon they were using in the $1,000 mint drew? Okay, so I read those articles. They were doing this whole promotion. Woodford is the sponsor of the Derby, and they were doing this, what does a $1,000 mint julep taste like? They were using Woodford. I think that if you ordered it, it was like a, a charity thing. So it's like a normal mint julep, but it costs a thousand dollars because you're buying it for charity. And yeah. it was a specific. Yeah, it comes thing. in a really expensive like julep, uh, cup, julep cup with like the real metal like, straw um, and everything. What is it? Pewter. P yeah, whatever they're called. Or I think that's what it is. Pewter, maybe. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Um. That's why it was so expensive. It wasn't because the whiskey. Because uh, I watched the video on it, and I was like, wait a minute. It's $1,000, but it's Woodford? I don't get it. And then I read more, and I got it. So We just said um, there's 100 of us in here. Ooh, welcome all 100. Cheers to 100 of all of us here on this sample Sunday. We got some Elijah Craig in our glass. It's just fun to say it that way. Craig? What's that? There's some TV show where they're like... That's, it's, it's Friday. Oh, yeah. Come on, Craig. TV show, come on. I don't know. Well, it was a TV show for a little bit. What? I think. What? That's crazy. Friday? Next Friday? Another Friday? I can't remember. Next Friday was also a movie. I know. Um. I know. <laughs> Craig. Oh, it had the actual roses. <sighs> yes, it did have roses from like the wreath or whatever. Uh, they you can't put eat the those. rose. Pet well, they put the rose petals on top, which is cool, but also like again, I think it. I don't know. Smell on this. That's marketing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mmm. Just, Charred. uh... I mean, it's good to go from a rye to a bourbon. It's, like... Keeps you on your toes. A good quality bourbon like this. It's it's so welcoming and familiar, yet unique, because, you know, this is an 18-year, and you're not always, usually, unless you're Bala, not drinking 18-year. <clears throat> we're not. <laughs> we're not Bala. No, we're not. But, man, it just, whoo, you know, it reminds me of some Four Roses. Really? Yeah. Like that older, fruity floor of Four Roses type of Maybe. bouquet. See, I also think this one has a chocolate nose, but it also has, like, a charred oak, which, you know, duh, it's stored in yeah. charred oak, so <laughs> obvious. But <laughs> uh, a bourbon that's, smell to it? That's what's coming through on the nose. That's also kind of say. a perfume. It smells like a bourbon. <laughs> yeah. It is a little perfumey. Can I go? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the mm. chard. It's coming through. Oh, it's a little smoky. Yeah. But so smooth. Mm, very smooth. You no, know, just 90 proof. But... It's very smooth. Very... I can tell... It's, see, it's doing the nice thing where it's low proof, mm. but it's still packing the flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. hi, James. We were just talking about we you. We were just talking about you. She forgot your name. I um. did not. I <laughs> got hung up in my brain for a minute. 
Um, so, asked, uh, will there be any news with you all doing a barrel pick uh, for a member of its Bourbonite fans, members, through a local store? Um, we're working on it. We are working on that. Yeah, um, we are working on that. We did help pick the... Uh, we did our live episode last weekend at hops to go and um, we sampled the Woodford Double Oaks that we helped choose. Um, mm-hmm. And that was through the Lexington Bourbon Society, which we're both members of. Mm-hmm. There were some members there, too, helping with that pick. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we helped we with that. We are planning sometime this summer, so ask again. <laughs> Shakes the eight ball. Ask again later. Yeah, ask again later. <laughs> but, yes. <laughs> Yes, yes, we're working on it. We are working um, on it. I would, I mean, you have to be partnered with a real retailer, so I would love to just do an It's Bourbon Night pick and be able to ship it anywhere, but laws are weird, laws. so. Laws are dumb. Laws are dumb. <laughs> mm. If we do a barrel pick, trust us, you'll know about it. Oh, yeah. Um, Man, this is, for 90 proof, it's so flavorful. It's, ah, oh, so mm. easy to drink, but. It's, it's not like they cut all the good things about it out by cutting it down to 90 proof. It's still there, but just in this really approachable... Like, I would give this to someone who's new to bourbon. Be like, really? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, because hopefully they could pick up on the more complex notes that are in here, but with it being at a proof that's still pretty approachable, I think it's a nice balance. They, I might be wrong. They I might agree. be like, eh. I think it depends on the person, and you can say that yeah. for everything. Like, yeah. I agree that the proof, le- like the proof, is an entry level point. Um, but I think the smokiness might be a turnoff for some people who aren't there yet. They just want caramel and vanilla and sweet, and they're just not mm-hmm. not up there yet. What you looking at, Willis? I want you to take a slight <laughs> scoot to your left. Okay. Oh, I was off balance in the frame. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. Much better. Much um, better. Bourbon and Skyline <clears throat> Chili. Ooh, I don't know about that. Um, wow. um, Hops to Go does not ship. Unfortunately, they don't. That's mm-hmm. sad. No. Now, you could probably find someone here and ask them to ship it to you. <laughs> Possibly. To go buy it and then do that. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah. Unfortunately... Mm. I think this is good. You can taste taste the age, you know, and that can be I agree. You know. I think well what I said before is when you can even proof it down to 90 and all that flavor is still coming through, I think that's the age. Yeah. Because if it wasn't we I mean, it obviously is. Yeah. Like there's no substitution for that. And that's why when people are like, "Well, we blast music at it and we put it in a 5-gallon barrels and we roll it around and we do this and that and we yell at it." You know, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was about to say. We yell at it. And we snuggle we it. We vibrate it and we change the temperatures on the warehouse or whatever. I'm like, "It doesn't matter because when you <laughs> proof it down to 90, which is what they do to get enough out of it because they're making such small quantities, it tastes mostly like garbage." <laughs> um, sorry. I'm getting real. But this is good. Um I think if this was... When this night stops being polite and starts, starts getting, getting real. <laughs> I think if this was um, barrel-proof, I think you'd be getting a lot more of the leather and the tobacco that, like, an 18-year would bring. And I don't know how that would... If that would be real favorable for it or not. I don't know. Might. Oh. But it might kind of kill it. Someone called out that we're not too far away from our 10,000 subscribers, and you're mm. correct. We are not that far. Someone else asked, will we do a live stream where we just give people recommendations based on other bottles they like? That would be fun. Um, I don't know. It would be hard to keep up with. Like, I think we'd have to have people submit through email first so that we could go ahead and and write them all down and work through it. Because it's very hard to keep up. I don't know if you can tell. Not hard. It's fun. Um, But I want to answer everyone's questions. So I think it would be cool if we got submissions. We could see which ones were duplicates and then work from there. That would be neat. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. Yeah. But for our 10,000... Subscribers, we'll do a. I guess we'll just do like a video Q and A, like normal. I don't know. We haven't really talked about it yet, but we are pretty close. Yeah, I was, Chad's probably got a trick up his sleeve. Well, I was kind of asking the guys the other day what they thought we should be doing, and we got some good ideas. But we'll have to talk about it and see. Okay. See what's what. We'll talk about it offline. Uh, we'll take this <laughs> offline. Um, but yeah, we definitely want to do something cool and special for ten thousand. <laughs> um, honest thoughts on Wild Turkey Long Branch. I think that it's for people. Go who watch our video. Well, they said not from the uncorking. Give so us that view. Outside of that. But <laughs> oh, okay. do watch the video. <laughs> we want that view. 
I think he did watch the video. Okay, give us a Big T bourbon no. and cigar. <laughs> um, not for me. Yeah, you know, I think... I, I think, respect the uniqueness. Sure. I think we came to a more copious thought process, like, after that episode. Because we were all like, ah, this is a miss. But really, he that was... It. That was... Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for that view. Mm. It was from two people who are, you know, further down their bourbon journey. And then we actually, on Perry's This Is My Bourbon podcast, uh, did a review of Long Branch on that one, um, which I think is his last episode. I'm going to go listen to it. Or was it that one? Yeah, I think so. It was a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Um, and then we had his, you know, him, him weighing in. And, and he's further down his bourbon journey, too. So for, like, the three of us, even, it's not for us. But we were kind of leaving out who it really is for, and it's for that person who maybe doesn't like 101, doesn't like yeah. higher proof stuff, wants a nice, easy, sipping bourbon mm-hmm. at 80, what is it, 85, 86, 86. proof? Um, yeah. But with some different characteristics that are a little outside of the box. And that's who it's for. Yeah. And I didn't think the mesquite really did all that much for it. It really didn't, but it was unique. Something was unique about it. Just not up our alley kind of a thing. And it's yeah. overpriced because of that. It is overpriced. I think. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> 12 so. hours of boom. What is that? Um, it's, oh, it's going so fast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say anything about Long Branch on the wild tur- turkey tour someone took the other week. I wonder if it's like a limited mm. thing, if they won't do multiple runs, if they're just trying to test it out and see so they don't want to introduce well, it into their tour. I think it'll depend on sales. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Long Branch was one all right. Not even an enthusiastic all right. <laughs> yeah, I think we gave it 1.5. Hated it. No. If you poured it in a glass for me to drink at a party, I would drink it definitely over some other things. For sure. Um, yeah. That's, that's, I wouldn't a, that's say a good no, point. I wouldn't say no to it. Mm-hmm. If you poured... I'm sorry. But if you poured me Town Branch at a party, I'd be like, where's the nearest place I can pour this out? <laughs> um, sadly. Um, actually, that that's <laughs> just real quick. I want to say that we did uh, a Patreon-only... Um, mm. uh, live episode on Friday night. On Friday we night, we only had like six or seven people watching. But, but that was really cool because it was for a certain, you know, a certain level and above. And um, we went an hour and a half. We did go a long on that time. one because yeah. you know we were just hanging out and having a good time. And if you ever thought about becoming one of our patrons, and that's something that might be interested in you for that level and a, and above. We were telling things. We were getting more real than we normally like to do because we this is like a smaller, controlled audience to keep you know? it positive. But we were telling some some things more along the "what do we think sucks" type of uh, <laughs> level. So if that if that might be something you're into, Long Bridge or early times, uh, patreoncom slash What? <laughs> it here. helps out the channel. <laughs> What'd you say? Long Bridge uh, or early times? I'd early times, early bottle t- and bond. I'd probably take the early times. It just says early times. Oh. If it was a bottle and bond, I'd probably take the early times. If it was a bottle and bond, uh, yes, I would probably do that over the... I just think it's got more going on. It's 100 proof. You know, it's bottle and bond. Half the age as the long branch, but... What level? I think it's just um, one more in. I think that's the $20 Twenty, level. Yeah, 20 above is the uh, the private hangouts. So, well, you know. Yeah. It's... It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> so. It's fun. We enjoyed it. We're going to be doing stuff like that every month. Yeah. Um, oh, on on the page it says what the levels are, but it's, yeah, it's uh, right there on the lo- right hand column. One, five, uh, twenty, a hundred, and then up. I think there's a, there's a fifty. Is there fifty? I think there's a fifty. Yeah. Oh, I think you're right. Yeah, and we're gonna be adding some more levels once we get once some we get our merch going. Merch, which yes. is also getting close. I'm sure you're tired. Lots of, of things are getting that. close. Yeah, we're we're really busy. Yeah. That's why we drink. <laughs> That's why we drink. All right, um, so this is also from Monty in Texas. Yes, and one of our favorite things. It's Blanton's straight from the barrel. One twenty-eight point five. Thought that said pumped. <laughs> pumped. Dumped. Two sixteen seventeen. Yeah. So this is another. Uh, I'm glad we picked a lot of over a hundred. Well, this was a ninety. Yeah. Okay. Good. I needed that break. <laughs> Yeah, so this was uh, dumped in February of 2017, Warehouse H, Rick number 40, and it's 128.5 proof. Yeah! Blanton straight from the barrel. 
Yeah, glasses and shirts for the merch. Whew. Glasses and shirts for the merch. That's what we've always said. And then as far as the uh, transparency that goes with the $20 patron level, it's not like mm. we're not being transparent and honest the rest of the time. If we don't like something, we'll say it. We just don't have the time in, a, in an edited episode to go into more, like, you know, more reasoning and more... We don't dig as deep into if we don't like something. Um, yeah, we'd rather, uh, you know, report on the stuff that we really want to share and... and uh, recommend to others than diving into the stuff like this is garbage. <laughs> you know, I mean, we want to point people away well, from bad stuff. Right. We'll still tell you if we don't like it to yeah. keep you from buying it. We're just not going to spend a lot of airtime digging into how much do we really not like this or like what do we hate more than this thing. You know, that's just not something we want to. Again, we just, feel that we're more valuable telling you things that are good that you should yeah. look for. While also saying we don't love this, so maybe stay away from it, but we'll go more in-depth when we're talking about things we like because we want to give you reasons to buy it mm -hmm. if it matches up with your flavor profile. Like, for example... If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. On the on the Patreon-only cast, someone um, was like, have you guys revisited Statement, <laughs> Statesman? Go grab a bottle. So we did because we listen to anything that they say. That our, you know, patrons like, mm -hmm. sure. So we went and got the bottle of Statesman and tried it again and like, nope. It's, uh, hasn't, it's hasn't 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 opened up well. Yeah. hasn't uh, hasn't changed. Um, we had a lot on that one. It was a good time. Good time. Had by seven, nine, all nine of us together. Thanks, Gary. Um, how many samples do we get sent? You know, it just depends. I think we have kind of ebbs and flows. Like, and it's not an ex. Again, it's nothing that's expected. Recently, since we've been doing live, people will email us like right afterwards and be like, I want to send you some samples. How can I? And so I just give them our shipping address. They don't even tell us sometimes what's coming. It's just a surprise. And that's fine with us. We're, we're again, not expecting <coughs> Excuse me. anything. So yeah, it just, we'll take and try anything. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if someone's offering, that's super generous. And mm -hmm. each time I think I'm equally surprised that people want to send us stuff. I'm like, wow, that's so sweet. Thank you so We've much. We've even gotten a, a full or a few, uh, bottles. Mm. Which we're super uh, appreciative of, and we, we will be trying with the early times. Speaking of early times, yeah, it's like Christmas. Which we'll be doing. Um, that got, was Brian and Wendy. Yes, we got a Elijah Craig, Elijah Craig, Craig full bottle, huh. barrel proof. I mean, come on. And that's what's crazy is that some people will be like, "I want to send you something to try. Give me your shipping address." So we do. We think it's going to be, and we're totally fine with. This size, this is what we expect, this is what we're used to. Absolutely. And then a full bottle shows up and we're like, what the heck? <laughs> this is cool. Um, so, I mean, we're not begging. Uh, don't take this as a, please send us some. We <laughs> have lots to go through and try. It's not a telephone. But it's really cool because some, when everyone shares, sometimes we get the opportunity to try things we would not normally be able to buy. Such as this Black Prince. Yes. <laughs> mm. Or whatever. You know, or anything. Or some old stuff, some antique stuff. That's yeah. cool. Let's talk about this straight from the barrel. This is hot. It's hot. Woo! It's Man. definitely kicking it way up from the... Yeah. Uh, 128. Right? This might be the highest ST... T... SFTB. Straight from the, just say straight from the barrel. Straight from the barrel. That we've had. Mmm. Have you ever tried any Australian whiskey? This is a question. Um... No. Neither have I. But we're going to. We've got that uh, Jim Beam with the date. Oh. That is only sold in Australia. We've got some friends. They come in uh, to Kentucky once a year, usually around September. And they bring us little treats that we can't get here, which is cool. Because then they also get treats that they can't get. And mm -hmm. everybody has fun. So. Yes. So we'll be um, getting that. This is very hot. Normally, proofs don't affect me that much. Like, the Whistle Pig was 120.2, and I, think it's I just didn't feel... The variance. Take take your second sip. I think I need and a second. it's <laughs> so much easier on that second. It's, uh, I mean, still hot, but, you know, we just jumped 38.5 proof points. I think that's what it's From one to the next. It. And, um, yeah, the second one, you're more acclimated. And you're picking up on more of that just mm, spicy pepper in the oh the rich caramel of it. Man, that's good. 
Mm. That is tasty. Drop some limestone water in there. Oh, I guess it's just tap water around here, right? Yeah, tap water. Uh, will Maybe there be Cracker the Time shirts? Court. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you know, so we're having a... We want to make all the shirts, but it's like... I also want to make sure that all the shirts <clears throat> will be desired. Sure. I, don't, I don't want to sit on a bunch of shirts that won't move. Um, I don't sit on a bunch of Cracker Times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... Maybe, like, maybe we can find something else that says that. I don't know. Or maybe it can be a shirt. We're kind of going to group them in, like, a, these are the maybe ideas. Maybe a cracker bowl. <laughs> maybe. These are the ideas we feel really strongly about that we think everyone everyone will like or the most people have asked for. And then we'll do a batch two and a batch three of our shirts, and they'll call everything batches because it's fun. Um, small batches. Small batches. <sighs> Handcrafted. Chad has done an impression so far. He did the Cool Whip thing. He did a whole Family Guy thing earlier. That's it. They're demanding your... Put him on the spot. He doesn't like that. He can't that. do it. He can't do spot. it on the spot. I can't do it. Uh, actually, funny side note. While Unless we're it's Jesse Pinkman. Sipping on this, uh, that you can do. Um, when you close your eyes, I think. And this might just be because you know I, I like him. But uh, when you oh don't even that's disgusting. <laughs> um, I think when I close my eyes and he does the Jesse Pinkman impression, that it really does sound like him from Breaking Bad. It's one of my better ones. It's good. So, anyways, I have a list going in my phone and in my notes section of, I think you're over 50 now. Uh, I log. Every time Chad does an impression, <laughs> I log it because I just want to know what he's capable of. <clears throat> They're not all winners, but... They're not all winners, but the, he tries. Yeah. If it's something that's just really bad and not even close, then I'm like, that, I can't, can't accept it. Yeah. I I'm can't accept that. it. That's, that's just fine. you tr pretending. It's a pretty good Christopher Walken, I guess. Yeah. You do a good Christopher Walken. Yeah. Sometimes it turns into something else, though. What does it turn into? No, that's like usually my Bane turns into a uh, Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> no, yeah. no, 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 sorry, Sean Connery. And then sometimes my Sean Connery turns into Jimmy Stewart. Yeah. Ugh. I've noticed a couple things just turn into Jimmy Stewart. <sighs> and he's fun. Oh, could we ship our shirts to Australia? I'm sure. Well, I sure. would love to be able to do international shipping. I don't see why not. It'd be a little bit more for shipping, obviously, but that's right. obvious. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll figure that out. So what do, you think, what do you think about this straight from the barrel? I think it's hot. <laughs> it's good. I would love. It's good. <clears throat> I would love to the taste it. The nose is really like candied. It is. It's got a really great nose. I would love to taste it like physically straight from the barrel, like with the whiskey thief. You no filtration. <laughs> Chaz laying on the ground. Someone pulls a whiskey. I over. just play pour some sugar on me, and <laughs> I get in the flash dance position, and then you just pour. Straight from the barrel. And I'm like, it burns! <laughs> this was a I did not think this through! No, you did not. My eyes! <laughs> you the goggles, they do nothing! No. It's from The Simpsons. It was McBain. Mm. The goggles, they do not... Get to the chopper! Get down! Okay, I know that. Get down, get to the chopper! Dana! I'm not sure where this is coming from. <laughs> True Lies. Oh, I see. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Dana! I've made a huge mistake. Like <laughs> made a huge mistake watching him do that impression. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, you can do Jesse Pinkman. You don't have to do it. I will. Just not right now. <clears throat> oh, how would... This we love you from South Dakota, too. Um, how would it hold up to a Willett family estate ride? You know, I'm not really a huge <laughs> fan, but he'll tell you. Gary. If Eddie if Russell Ruff, flash danced to me, I just <laughs> just, bury just bury me. me. I can't top that. Like I can die now. <laughs> He's great. Um, <laughs> oh man, we only have ten minutes left. We got one more sample. Well, maybe we could. Maybe we could let it go a little bit long. No. No, we could. We could. We could. If you guys want to stick around, we'll do this last one. Um, mm. Straight from the barrel, straight okay. to my mouth. So, uh, Chelsea says she works at a bourbon bar in Illinois, and they sell Whistle Pig Boss Hog for $90 an ounce. And That's a deal. Relatively. I mean, we said what? 100 We said 100 With That was with a five times multiplier. Right. No, that was with a... We said something like 80 with a four times, but it should be five, five times, times, I bet. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's right. That's like four and a half times multiplier. Because you bad. said two ounce sample would be $200. That's what we said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, there's $10 off. <laughs> Boom. If, you know, you want to do $20 that. $20 an ounce retail. <clears throat> do the multiplier, yeah. Um, let's see. How does straight from the barrel compare Hello to from original? SoCal. 
Uh, I, I definitely think original is 90 proof or not sorry 92 this kicks four, the original 92, ones 92, 94 proof just saying yeah no totally um, Blanton's you know, regular old Blanton's American Blanton's has always been solid I would call it I would put it in the slightly overhyped category mm. I think people lose their minds over it a little bit too much but it's very solid but straight from the barrel when, when they don't cut it down 30 proof points from where it is right now just about um, you're really getting something special. Blanton's Gold is good too at 120 proof. But actually, speaking of Australia, their version, correct me if I'm wrong, um, is 80 proof, or at least in the 80s. The green, Blanton's Green. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of like their, it's even lower their, than the US. Yeah, so. that's crazy. Yeah. Someone said to say, Did you ever kill anyone? And that you would know what that meant. Because you're going to say, Yes, but they were all bad. Oh! <laughs> no, wait, what was that from? I don't know what that's from. Oh, no, okay, that's Arnold Schwarzenegger from True Lies. I don't know if I can do, I haven't practiced that one before. No, don't do Arnold it. Arnold Schwarzenegger, yes, but they were all, yes, but they were all bad. <laughs> that's pretty good. Have we ever tried Irish whiskey and what's our opinion? <clears throat> to be honest, I've had Jameson. Yeah, I used to get down on some Jameson. And I really used to like Jameson in what's called a breakfast shot. And for those of you who don't know, it tastes just like pancakes um, with maple syrup. And it's, mm -hmm. um, I think it's like equal parts Jameson and uh, butterscotch schnapps. So you mix that and uh, something like this. Yeah. And then you shoot it and chase it with orange juice and it tastes like breakfast. I'm just going to um, go ahead. Go ahead and make this we, go long. In case we go long. All right. Just in case we go for a few minutes longer. Um. A Fred No impression? No one can do a Fred No impression. I mean, just cuss a lot. Just Yeah, just curse a lot and talk real... <clears throat> how did He kind of just strings words along with it <laughs> so that you can't really tell where the word ended and began. I, I don't know. I love listening to him talk. One time I counted how many curse words he said in the seminar. I think it was like in the 30s. At it least. It was crazy. Yeah. If you sent us this sample, and I, we just feel awful about this because I know that we've had a conversation like either through Instagram, 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 or email. Uh, if you sent us this Joseph Magnus and accompanying bottles, if this was your handwriting, kindergarten cup. Please let us know. Yeah, if if you recognize is is this bottle yours? Yeah. <laughs> have you seen this boy? Do I mean, you know? Have you seen this bottle? It's after ten o'clock. Do you know where your bottle is? Mm. It is after ten a.m. It's probably at Chad and Sarah's. Probably. Um. Let's see. How do we plan to do any few bourbons and rice? I would like to. It's not one of those that's at the top of our to buy list, um, but it's something that I would like to try. I'd love to review it. Yeah. Um, so that's somewhere on the to do list. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. This Joseph Magnus, by the way, is a straight bourbon whiskey, 100 proof, batch seven, bottle 228 of 892. Oh, that's it's kind of funky. Triple cask finished in. Oloroso. Olorosa sherry. sherry. That word is Pedro. Oh, well, it was just the writing. Pedro. Fe Pedro. Exavinez. Jimenez, Jimenez, I think is how you Pedro say that. Pedro Jimenez and cognac, cognac casks. So now he knows cognac. Cognac casks. Triple barreled for triple the fun. Evan Haskell says stay away from few. Well, I trust Evan. Like someone said, Evan said. Evan's Ev on, someone on here. said. Yeah, Evan said. <laughs> Evan, on are here. you here? I wish Evan was here. That would be fun. He's so fun. Yeah, we missed him the other day at the. Um, yeah, I know. We went to the uh, Wilderness Trail release in. What was that? Danville. Danville. And uh, we saw Steve Akeley there. And if you don't listen to his show, you should. Um, he's got a ton of different shows. So there's something for everyone. But um, he was there and he was like, Evan's coming, but he's not here yet. We had to leave to go do the Hops to Go. Uh, live stream that we had planned, so we didn't get to catch Evan, but he's so, they're just both super cool dudes. Mm -hmm. So I find that Evan and I like a lot of the same things. He loved the Yellowstone. I also love the Yellowstone limited edition. Um, so yeah, if he says stay away, I mean I'll <laughs> I'll have to let you know myself. But <laughs> you know who I, knows? I, I, who who knows? knows? But I, I do tend to trust him. This does smell kind of funky. It's very not. Bourbonish smelling, smelling, but you know it's been, it's not technically bourbon. It's bourbon with a caveat of finished in this barrel and then finished in this barrel. It was and bourbon. then finished in this barrel, so it's definitely a whiskey. How did I describe it that one time? It's a finished bourbon, 
But it's not like you just can't call it bourbon because like a tree is a tree, but if you make a table out of it, you can't still call it a tree. It's a table. It's, it's made out of wood. It's made out of a tree. This tree, is made out of a bourbon. A tree is wood and it's made out of it, but it's not the same thing. And if it falls in the woods... Does but, someone drink it? <laughs> yeah, but a table's not around to catch it. What's the sound of one hand clapping? Uh, you got the approval on the... Ew, that's gross. Uh, <laughs> it's the sound of one hand clapping. Uh, you got the approval on your Arnold impression. So, oh! Just so you know. Thank you. How do we find Rare Blanton's? Um, people send us samples like this. We also have... What do we have? It's not available in the U.S. No, and then we got the French Blanton's from our Australian friends, and we got the Blanton's Gold as a sample, so everything has just been sharing... I'm scared. You're scaring me. That's different. It smells real weird. Not not weird, just just funky. Like it's finished. Um it doesn't taste like a whiskey, it tastes more like a rum. Whoa. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, whoa. Um, what is that? Oh, God. I got to put my finger on all these things at once, and I can't. My, my brain can't keep up with the taste. My senses are all out of whack. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, record 106 to, for today, I guess. Welcome on 106. Thank you. We haven't been watching the count the whole time. Yeah. So we're not about the numbers. Quality over quantity, we're right? We're about the experience. Yeah. Um, no, it doesn't taste like a bourbon, does it? Or a whiskey. Even. Well, definitely not a bourbon. I guess it does taste like a whiskey. Kyle, I love it when people grill Chad, so I'll just keep doing that. What? Pedro is a white grape. Oh, cool. This one. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I'm, I'm personally like, don't worry about me. I'm doing fine. I'm very happy. Um, but I like it when people give him a hard time because I like to watch him squirm. So, he doesn't like it, as you can tell from his yeah. face. Um... <laughs> And if that ever happens, then we won't have this lovely moment where I can Let's watch talk about you. this <laughs> whiskey here. <laughs> it's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> it has an oily mouthfeel. Oh, that, I don't care. Um, <laughs> it's fine. What do you think about the mouthfeel? I think it's... <laughs> I hate when you say it that way. Mouthfeel. It's oily. Mm-hmm. It's buttery. It's almost butterscotchy. Okay. It oh. changes so fast. I Warm. can't. I can't get a handle on it. It's. Wow. Well, it's so crazy. I think I'm trying this too late in the game, because I'm having trouble articulating. <sighs> Dabbing again. Sorry. <clears throat> we will keep stepping out of our comfort zone. I like to try new things. I'm one of those people that's like, let's go to that weird new restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like weird new restaurants. He does too. Unless it's Indian. And then he doesn't want to go. Yeah. <laughs> I like Indian. Um, Chad, you're someone's spirit guide. That's what Gary said. <laughs> well, thanks, Gary. I but I just... I will guide you to drink more bourbon. Try to snatch the bourbon from my hand. Grasshopper. Sorry, you can't. This is whiskey. Boss Hog Lou, thanks for... <laughs> Rep our channel. He's like, 100 people are liking. There's only 21 likes on this video. What are you guys doing? Go like it. I'm like, well, thanks for watching. Your finger broken? A like is nice. Craig? But it's why this is stop. Is your finger broken, Craig? What are we drinking now? For those of you just joining, we're drinking Joseph Magnus Straight Ribbon Whiskey. Triple cask. Triple cask. 100 proof. Batch 7. Bottle 228 of 892. That's kind of cool to know what where your bottle came from. Sure. It's basically like a birth certificate of your bottle. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Um, this is just... Mm. Mm. Let's see. <laughs> uh, let's it's interesting. See. It has a scotchy moment to it in the very beginning. Very beginning palette. It has. It has like a. A scotchy moment. I get the wine on the first part. I'm really trying to focus on this right now. Okay, so if you've had like a Jefferson's Groff Cask or Pritchard Hill, I'm getting like a very red wine finish. Is there a red wine though? Because I know that the Pedro is a white grape. Sherry. Okay, maybe that's it. Or maybe it's the cognac. I don't know. It's a lot going on. It's like a really nice 
rich, sweet, and cherry. An expensive bottle, too. But not cherry. <clears throat> not in the sense of, like, cherry flavoring. I don't know how to explain it on the first part. And then it does this weird turn where it becomes more deep and less of the sweetness. The sweetness drops. It's almost like the floor falls out, and it becomes something completely different. And the different. bottom drops out. Oh, I love that song. <laughs> Have you seen Better Days? Have you been the star in many plays? Well, no. Okay. And the bottom drops out. All right. Let me try this again, and I'll focus on the finished part. Yo, mm -hmm. Mr. White. Mm. I've been calling you for like, I don't know, forever. Pick up your phone, you bitch. I can't focus when you do that. <laughs> it does become more of like a, a spice rum almost. Jesse Pinkman. But it's not rummy. Like, Jesse. 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 <laughs> it's the only thing I can do in Walter White's voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was saying it has more of like a rum. But kind of like the, it, it's not rum, but like the spiced rum flavor. Not the rum, but the spice. And it's not spicy like a rye. It's just those it's like, like a malt, like an island yeah, malt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like an islandy flavor. Boom, yes. Brian. Thanks, Brian. Oh, super chat for the overtime. What? <laughs> 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 that was a pretty good Jesse. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. We appreciate it. Mm. <clears throat> we would be happy to team up with the whiskey vault if yep. they were if they'd be so kind to have us. Um, we'd love to. This is really interesting. Oh, <gasps> uh, Jeff, thanks. Jeff. Oh. <laughs> Jeff. That's hard to do with your name. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Jeff. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ellis. <clears throat> science, science, bitch. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, magnets, bitch. <laughs> High rise of thing. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to come back to this one. I'm actually really glad that we still have like three... Uh, a third of the bottle left. Yeah. Because there are some really cool things. Oh, thank John. you. John. Thanks, John, for the Pinkman. For the Pinkman. Oh, um, man. I need to revisit this. the Pinkman this. all day. Thank you, John. John Brown, John Brown. <laughs> it's very interesting. Biggest man in the whole damn town, John oh, Brown. Oh, my God. I don't know. He deserves a song. Yes, sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> There's so much going on with that. The triple cask, you can't really tell. Is there too much going on? No, because no. I'll tell you okay. this. I like it. It's a really nice change of pace. I would like this with, like, after dinner. This would be, for me, this is like a dessert. And, it, and yeah, I don't mean I that I think this needs to be paired with maybe, something. Maybe, maybe. Um, I'd have to really dig into what those flavors are. I really like this, though. It's really interesting. Yeah. Um, bye, triple, triple Cap. Thanks, Triple Chad Cap. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I really like this. I could maybe dig into the flavors and pair it with something. But as of now, this is something I would drink, like, after dinner. Yeah. It reminds me of that kind of a thing. You would retire to the study if we had for a study. cigars and Joseph Magnus. Yes, that's exactly what but I would do. But not their cigar blends. Oh, Craig. Craig. Welcome. Craig. 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 <laughs> $5, Craig, for the overtime, Thank Craig. You. Mm. Um, uh. You need some overtime, Craig. Yeah. Craig. Thanks, everybody. If you guys got to go, we understand. We're going a little bit over. Yeah, sorry. A couple We're minutes too over. Good of, um, too good of a time talking about all this stuff. Oh. Everybody's being super nice with the super chats. Super, super nice, nice with chats. the super chats. Thank you. Yes. I'm going to come back to this because this is something I think I need a fresh palette for. We've been through three other very differently, with very different personalities. This is, yeah, this has been a as far as myriad of, of different, you know, from a 95% rye to an 18-year-old bourbon, to a, a straight-from-the-barrel barrel-proof, to a triple-finished whiskey. I this, mean, this deserves another visit. We're in a glass in bottle mind. of emotions it's, here. It's true. Yeah. This needs an, another visit. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. That was fun. I'm having a real that hard time. <laughs> Sherry, sweet, yes. Yeah. Um, oh, thanks for doing our research, <laughs> Stephen. <laughs> oh, thanks. Another, again, another super chat. Thank you so much. Santa um, Cruzen? Thank you, Santa Cruzen. Santa Cruzen. Santa Cruzen. Uh, the cognac, uh, flowers, uh, and fruit. Uh, oh, what? Marky Mark. Mark. Dang, everybody. I think they just want to hear us Mark go, Mark Whitaker. <laughs> Mark. And the Funky Bunch. <laughs> You're crazy. What was one of their songs? There's definitely... Yes. I'm not going to say it again. 
There's a lot going on there. I'm going to come back to it. What was a Marky Mark song? I don't know. I think this is before my time. Marky Mark, uh, the what did he do? What did he do? I don't know. I don't know. Help me out. What did Marky Mark do? Well, thank you, Mark, for that $10 super chat. Um, um, let's go ahead and talk. Next week, okay, next weekend is Mother's Day. And this is an interesting thing because... Good, vi- um, good vibrations? I don't know. They did good vibrations? Like a cover of the of the Beach Boys? I'm not sure. It is a good song. Whatever you're talking about. Um, okay, just to, while he's doing whatever he's doing, I'm not sure. He's got to look it up because he can't have one go unanswered. Um, so next weekend is Mother's Day on a Sunday. So normally because of the holiday, we would do the live chat on a Saturday. However, Chad has already ruined his birthday surprise. Chad's birthday is on May 17th, by the way. Uh, just so you know. Oh, oh it is good vibrations. Good vibration. He's right. Yeah. Sweet sex. <laughs> We're going to get flagged. It's low. It's low. Um, so anyways, so next Saturday, I had planned on doing a private, ta- I, I mean, I still plan on it. I booked it. Uh, a private tasting at a place called the Beaumont Inn in Harrodsburg with, yes, Harrodsburg. Uh, they have a bar called the Old Owl um, in the Owl's Nest. You're going to get us flagged. I'm trying to tell them the story. Sorry. Anyways, Dixon Dedman of Kentucky Owl work <clears throat> does that whole thing with the Old Owl. That whole thing. Hence the Owl, Kentucky Owl. Yes. And he is so kindly going to host a private tasting for us for Chad's birthday, but Chad already figured it out and ruined his own birthday surprise. So that's what we're doing on Saturday. So we can't do the live stream on Saturday. Cheers, my bourbon journey. Even though it's Mother's Day on Sunday, we're going to have to do it on Sunday. So we're sorry. Oh, what? Whiskey music. Thank you. Whiskey music. Okay. Coming in late. Need update. He... Gave us a ten dollars super chat, so you're going or he or she, I'm not sure. Who Whiskey you are. music. Whiskey music. Gets an update. Um, so yeah. So our live stream will be on Sunday of next week. And yes. we're gonna do some four roses stuff because flowers, Mother's Day, four roses, whatever. So just <laughs> um Whatever. Just uh let us know if you have any ideas about what kind of four roses stuff you want to talk about. So, whiskey music, we did the twenty seventeen whistle pig boss hog, the black prince. Um, we also did an Elijah Craig 18-year, bottled in 2016. We did a blend straight from the barrel, uh, 128.5 proof, and we did the Joseph Magnus triple cast, triple cast. Uh, 100 proof. Yep. So you can watch the um, the replay. Bring Pam. Um, I, I kind of <laughs> want to put Pam on a live episode, but see, the thing is, is that Pam doesn't like bourbon, so I'm not sure what she would do. Like, I think she would be like, I don't know what to do with my <laughs> She's so cute, though. I love her. Maybe some wine finished bourbon she likes wine so she could drink the wine and we could drink the wine finished bourbon and maybe that's an episode for oh for mother's day but would she do it and then would your mom be jealous well my mom definitely doesn't like bourbon and isn't a big wine drinker either i think she would just like to watch okay you know all right cool wouldn't wanna maybe we can get pam on like a guest star she could just make a maybe a little cameo. Maybe then she could could scram. Maybe it should be like Pam time, and Pam, Pam comes time. in for a little bit, and Pam time. Pam time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Um. Cool. We're getting some info or <clears throat> some feedback on what we should do for the Four Roses for next Sunday. That's great. Special guest Pam. Okay, people are asking for Pam, so I think we're gonna have to do Pam. The people want um, Pam. I'll have to see if she agrees to it. She's a little shy, so we'll see. <sighs> Maybe I'll just give her a glass of wine before we start. There you go. See, Pam's limit is two glasses of wine. I think we should get her into the three, the three glass range just to see how she does on camera. Old three glass Pam. Three glass Pam, and then she's gonna have to have a nap. <laughs> um, all right, cool. I'm just catching up on these last comments real quick, and then I think we're gonna sign off. Yeah. Um. Bring Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. Oh, she did give us thin mints. She oh, did. Oh, that was actually something we tried on our patron. Uh, Patreon was a Thin Mint pairing that we thought would work, and it didn't. Someone said we could put a Pameo. <laughs> That's hilarious, Perry. Pam Cam. I, like I love all this stuff. Someone said, hashtag three glass Pam. <laughs> <laughs> this is my new favorite thing. That's a new t-shirt, three I, glass Pam. Thank you so much. i got to make her that just for her. Three glass Pam. Um, 
Someone said we should get them both on like the phone, like on speaker, and then they can listen to us or whatever contribute. But we'll we'll see. We'll talk to them and see how they're feeling. Yeah. Um, are we going to record with Dixon? So, I kind of thought about that, but I'm not really sure what his schedule's like, and I don't want to harass him too much. But right. may I he I did ask if we could record there, not live probably because I don't know what the setup is. It's a right. little too many unknown variables uh, to do live. So. We'll see. I'll let you know mm-hmm. what we come up with. It's yeah. mostly about Chad for his birthday. Oh, I know. On. He need, just needs a little special experience. How old are you going to be, Chad? Doesn't matter. How many candles on your cake? Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> um, Should say yeah. there's not a bourbon aged to my age anymore. That's true. So, you know, I think we've told them all that we can tell them, and thank you. I'm glad that you think we're cute. Sometimes, nah. Sometimes I'm disgusted by Gross. It. Yes. <laughs> sometimes I think we're gross, but it's okay. Yeah. We should probably... Cracker time. <clears throat> we should sign off. Yeah. 3, 4, Pam. Mm-hmm. 3, 4, Pam. Yep. <laughs> I love these ideas. Keep them coming. Yeah. Birth year sample. I don't think we have that. Yeah, I'll it would be to, hard to get that. I'll have to try to uh, procure that. Yeah, for sure. I would love to do that. Yep. Okay. Might be easier to get I go, your birthday. I right. would put a candle on a glass of bourbon, but I think that's like a fire hazard. So. <laughs> Maybe not a barrel proof. We did one time though put that candle on that top of a uh, Knob Creek and light it, and that was cool. That was true. Um. All right, but that was for our one. Anything year. under a hundred proof? Because hundred proof. Do we need snacks again this week? Perry says. <laughs> <laughs> We're just hanging out. Bring cheese. Mm-hmm. We just finished that cheese Yo, on Friday. Yo, Perry. Fun. Where's the cheese? All right. All right. We'll sign off. Yep. All right. See you, everybody. Thanks See so much guys. for watching. Thanks you know, so much. Just drill. Follow all our social media channels. It's Bourbon Night. Uh, we got our Amazon Influencer page. If you like this glass, you can go get it. Boom. We're going to... I got to refresh that. I got to put some new stuff. What am I feeling now? Yeah. Sarah's 2018 favorite What's things. What's Sarah's favorite things? Yeah, I got to put that yeah, on there. And uh, uh, we talked enough about Patreon, so we won't talk about that again. But, yep. So we'll see you guys next Sunday. Yeah. Thanks, guys. And uh, have a great week. Till then, drink more bourbon.